Michael Damien's return will be a little different. According to The Young and the Restless, Michael Damien has returned multiple times throughout the years to reprise his role as Danny Romolotti. Damien, on the other hand, frequently returns for special occasions such as anniversaries, parties, and so on. However, Danny has some time off this time and merely wants to see his family and possibly reconcile with Christine Blair, Laura Lee Bell. Danny Romolotti rejoins his family. Danny has already reconciled with his son, Daniel Romolotti Jr., and his mother, Phyllis Summers, according to The Young and the Restless. Of course, Danny has discovered Phyllis in the midst of yet another disaster. Danny and Daniel were present to witness Phyllis and Jack Abbott's altercation. Of course, Phyllis has just completed a task for Tucker McCall, who is hell-bent on destroying the Abbots. Phyllis needed to raise a large sum of money rapidly, and this was the quickest method to do so. However, it appears that Phyllis may have betrayed Tucker in order to derail his takeover plan. Why and our fans are excited about Michael Damien's return. When one of the young and the restless's veterans returns for a visit, fans are usually overjoyed. That hasn't changed now that Damien has returned. Michael believes that everyone has welcomed his return and that this time he has more time to devote to the show. Damien is particularly impressed by some of the old sequences fans have submitted, some of which he had forgotten about. Damien admits that working with Michael and Michelle is always a pleasure. He claims that he and Michelle have the old bander that made working together so easy, and he refers to Michael as his child. Damien thinks these two are very simple to work with, and he has parts with Christine later in the film. Christine is currently out of town, attempting to reconcile with her husband. The Restless and Yum, what's the rest of the story? Damien claims he was requested to practice his piano, which suggests he will most likely be performing some. However, he is most eager about Danny and Christine's upcoming chapter. Of course, they discuss their relationship during the gala scenes. Damien, on the other hand, has more time to dedicate to the plot this time, so perhaps they will make some progress. Damien is excited for Danny and Christine to reunite, but he also makes light of Phyllis' reaction to their romance. Danny is expecting to see Phyllis change and turn over a new leaf. Phyllis, on the other hand, can't believe Danny hasn't moved on from Christine after all these years. Damien promises an interesting and fascinating story. Haley Aaron makes her debut at Audra and Nikki Grill. According to The Young and the Restless, Jack Abbott meets with his brother Billy Abbott to discuss information. Billy describes his altercation with Tucker McCall and he expects that Adam Newman's emails would persuade Tucker to abandon his attempt to take over Jabot. Jack is likewise optimistic about the email's ability to persuade Tucker to surrender. If it doesn't happen, he talks about using Phyllis Summers as a backup option. The restless and the young hopeful Jack and Billy. Phyllis is a computer hacker extraordinaire, and she has the ability to break into Tucker's computer and discover the extent of his revenge scheme. She is the one who hacked into Jabot's accounts and made it appear as though Billy is embezzling, therefore Jack will put pressure on her to do what she needs to do to redeem herself and make amends for her first filthy crime. In the end, Billy and Jack have a good feeling about their idea, and it's nice to see the brothers cooperating rather than competing. Jack and Billy of the Young and the Restless get their acts together elsewhere Victor Newman tries to reassure his wife, Nikki Newman that he is all right regardless of what their treacherous daughter says about him. Victoria Newman, who has been dethroned, is telling anybody who will listen that Victor is incapable of directing Newman Enterprises and throwing doubt on his mental health. When Nikki confronts Victor about his recent decisions and reminds her of the job he assigned her as CEO, Victor finds himself on the defensive. Concerned Nikki, the young and restless. As a result, Nikki must interview a new assistant. Grace Claire. Claire Grace has been regarded as a determined ladder climber, and it's possible that she has a relationship to Audra Charles, Zuli the Silver, another ambitious aspirant. Why NR Claire Grace, who are you? Nikki and Audra do a joint interview with Claire, who tells fans a little bit about herself and gives them a taste of who she is. Nikki is a social climber who was once a young filly in a man's world, which may explain why she appears to be willing to give Audra a million chances. Nikki takes a fancy to Claire and makes her a personal mission, according to shocking program spoilers. Claire, on the other hand, could be a master manipulator with a sweet-as-pie facade. Other than Sharon Rosell's, Sharon Case, 
It's difficult to find another charming and light character, therefore Claire is bound to bring her own baggage. Tucker seizes Jabot and makes a peace offering to Ashley. The young and the restless spoilers reveal that Phyllis Summers felt trapped. She owed a life insurance company $200,000 for faking her murder, and Jeremy Stark collected on it. Jeremy also stole over half of Phyllis' life savings, according to viewers, so despite making a tidy profit when she sold her iconic comeback vehicle, the Grand Phoenix Hotel, to Chancellor Winters, Phyllis was unable to pay off her debt. Tucker McCall utilized his tentacles to detect that Phyllis was in severe need of money. Then he duped her into believing Billy Abbott, Jason Thompson, had stolen from the family business. The restless young Tucker McCall surprises himself. Tucker told Phyllis again that he was going to take over Jebot. His confidence included putting Summer Newman Abbott's, Allison Lanier, job at Marchetti in Geoparty. Tucker wanted to streamline the cosmetics company, reverting it to a focus on business. Therefore, the fashion division of Jabot would be cut. Tucker appears to feel he can steal control of the company from Jack Abbott, Peter Bergman, and hand it to Ashley Abbott, Eileen Davidson, as a peace offering. Another remark to Lena Love about Tucker and Ashley reconciling suggests that Street John's character believes his actions constitute a road to reconciliation. The restless young Jack Abbott foresaw an attack. After learning that Ashley had remained in Paris, France following her honeymoon with Tucker, Jack sounded the soapy alarm. Bergman's character expected Tucker to go after him. Tucker claims to like Billy, at least according to what he told Phyllis. His callous remark was accompanied by the use of Billy's reputation against him. But unless this strike is a cleverly veiled diversionary effort, Jack is not as naive as Tucker believes. The restless young Phyllis Summers digs yet another holes. Phyllis made yet another disastrously stupid decision. She is now in yet another legal quagmire that she has created. Tucker threatened Phyllis with death if she exposed what he had done. He would have little to lose in that conclusion, so her silence when Jack accuses her comes as no surprise. However, the spectator might choose to think that Phyllis' resourcefulness will allow her to dodge legal repercussions, make amends to Billy, and re-establish Jack's faith in Woi and R. Victor couldn't care less about Victoria's righteous anger. According to the young and the restless spoilers, Victoria Newman, Amelia Heinel, is furious by her father's unexpected behavior. Devoted fans are questioning why Victoria thought the latest run in the family business would be any different than the others. Victor Newman, Eric Braden, is who he is as a result of his actions, that, in his mind, justifies any actions he takes for whatever cause. So despite Victoria's outstanding success, the founder of Newman Enterprises had a maintenance worker rehang his photo in the chief executive officer's suite. Victor also responded with a clenched fist, indicating that he is still the field commander. The restless and young Nate Hastings struggles the bottom line. Nate Hastings, seen Dominic, is well aware that his position on Newman's personal playfield is precarious. His meteoric rise from family concierge doctor to Victoria's hand-picked right hand may be fleeting. Spoilers for the young and the restless. Victoria's righteous anger, Victor could care less. Victor has assured Nate on multiple occasions that no one other than Newman will lead the company. Nate embraced that sharp message and frequently expresses his gratitude for being where he is. Victoria expects the same loyalty from her romantic ties that Victor does from his subordinates. As a result, Victor's request that Nate assist him in persuading Victoria of the seismic shift that occurred is significant. Why and our Victoria Newman is not required to take it, Victoria, Nick Newman, Joshua Morrow, and Abby Newman Abbott, Melissa Ordway, sued their father for what they thought to be a collective slight years earlier. Because of the subjective decision in their favor, Victor was forced to pay that trio half a billion dollars apiece. Nick donated his money away. Abby used some of it for recent business pursuits, including the purchase of society. Of course, she has a lot of money left, but she isn't a threat to her father because she isn't competitive. Thanks for watching if you like this video, so please don't forget to subscribe my channel and don't miss any updates.